Okay, do I have a treat for you guys? This is Tarnished Samson, the new character. Hi, Guppy's head. Wow, that's cool. The new Tarnished character. The Epiphany devs hit me up and they said balls. They didn't say balls. They said, <laughs> they said, hey, do you want to try out this new character that we have going? I was like, wow, Blood of the Martyr. Absolutely do I want to do that. Thank you guys. So they are a melee focused character, just like the Forgotten, but they have a couple quirks. They have a charge bar where if I let go, I can break down some rocks. I can pick up the rocks and chuck them. And they burst open into little tiny rocks that inherit your tier effects. It's an AoE, so this is basically how you're going to get your range in. And they seem very strong. It also has a bar on the top left. You can see that right there. That's his slaughter bar. And his slaughter bar basically means that the more damage you do, the faster you shoot. Or in this case, punch, right? Uh, anything in here, Black Heart's cool, nice. So every time that that bar gets full up, you get another level on your slaughter bar, meaning that you can punch even faster. So right now we're at level three, we're about to hit level four, and you can see I just got a tears up. So the character is super strong, nice. I uh, will take, let's see, Cracker Jacks. It's also a speed up, it's me! Oh, this is perfect, look at that. Uh, and then we'll go straight down. There's a couple more things you can notice that bottom right I have a pocket active item called Killer Instinct. While you're punching and you use it, you do a little bit of like a, I want to call it maybe a Mars kind of dash. You're invuln to all bullets and you're kind of just invuln in general. Boom, you know what I mean? What it also does is that it can instantly activate Immortal Rage. The same way that Tainted Samson cannot die, if Tarnished Samson takes fatal damage, he enters the Immortal State and basically he goes crazy. If you do enough damage in Immortal State, you'll live, but if you don't, you'll just die. And Killer Instinct can actually instantly proc. It can immediately proc Immortal Rage. So if I slam down these, pick up a rock and press Q, I go crazy. But I need to make sure that I kill enough enemies because if I don't, I will die by doing this. So this is kind of the risk take, right? You can go crazy, like literally nuts. But if you don't do enough damage, uh, you'll just instantly die by doing this. So it's a lot of risk reward, but it's super cool. And then when Immortal Rage is over, you lose all of your slaughter bars. So you can bet your ass that I'm going to try and use Immortal Rage as much as possible because that's the fun part for me. Knowing that if I'm not doing enough damage, I'm going to die. <laughs> Absolutely. That sounds like my type of character. Uh, does Killer Instinct give you free curse rooms? No. Okay, it may look like Mars visually, but it's not the same thing. So I think the way that you should play this character is kind of go through all rooms naturally. I've been using Guppy's head, my bad. And just building up all your uh, slaughter bar levels so you get a fast tier rate. And at the end of the floor, with the boss and such, you want to kind of burn everything and just go crazy. Because getting a normal tier rate up like this is just valuable. You don't really want to just spend them all on Immortal Rage for no reason. This is all me just theory crafting though, because you know, it's the first time anyone's played this character, so who knows how to, the right way to play him. Experimental treatment, we got a speed down, but for a trade of tears and damage up, and a luck up, so I'm happy. So in this situation, I have no levels, I feel like I can't really do much against the boss, and it's just Duke of Fly, so I'm gonna slam down, and go crazy. Oh my god, that's so cool, alright. We got a booster pack, anything cool? There's a reverse. Ah, it's just tower. Uh, justice is cool, strength, death, and stars. I'll take the tower, use it later, but what's in here? Uh, ooh, I think. I wanna use all of these, actually. What is the, what is, I, I kinda wanna buy all of these, hold on. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this, but I wanna know what Brimstone does with Tainted Saps. What is that? Oh my god. I'm keeping this, actually. Guppy's head has done its job. What? I'm chucking brimstone. Look at that. And then my slam gives me like a circle of brimstone. That's cool. That is awesome. I love that. I'm not mad at that devil deal at all. That that was very good. Reverse tower here. I'm going to need tinted rocks because I'm low on HP now. Unfortunately, I did not. I can't even see any super secret rocks. Uh, We'll take the stars. Okay, bye. I might just steal these items, actually. I don't really need to complete this, I don't think. Oh, Athens gonna go so crazy. Uh, we got one of the worst items in the game, but hey, you know what? That's okay. You can also see that the slaughter bar... I need range, that's the main problem with this character, huh? Uh, it depletes a lot slower. Okay, I don't think that was possible for me not to get hit. It depletes a lot slower when you uh, are not in a room with enemies. So that is a good thing. Oh my lord, Athen. You are beautiful. Thanks for the soul heart. I actually really needed that. You can bring rocks through rooms. I didn't think that was going to be a thing, but 
Turns out it is. So for these bad boys, yeah, we're gonna have to learn. We have to basically chuck. Oh man, do I want that. I need HP, but we're not doing it. So uh, what does this chucking brimstone do? It's slow. It does so much damage though. And it looks like I kind of just have a brimstone. So uh, something I did want to mention though, by the way, the Epiphany devs did tell me that Tarnished Samson does have a brimstone synergy right now, but it's actually going to get changed. Okay, now we know that does not destroy rocks. It gets changed, I believe, on release. They're uh, still fiddling with it. So when this release is for you guys, uh, keep in mind that it might not be exactly what you see here. This is first and only time footage. You got exclusive. Exclusive footage from Matt Man. I'm excited. I don't know what the actual one's gonna look like, but I'm, I'm sure they got something cooking in there, right? Uh, I might use Killer Instinct against this boss. It's an XL floor. How did I not know this? Let's go crazy. <laughs> nice. What a good fight. Pain in a box. That's an unlock. Hello? What? Well, whatever. I got it. Cool. Consolation prize. It gave me speed up, which is, uh, Fairly necessary here. We don't actually have to fight the boss just yet though. We can maybe blow up a keeper or something. I think the slam is probably his best move, I'm thinking. Just having an AoE on command like that, just let go and then boom. Yeah, like that range is really nuts, I think. We have 15 cents. It's really good, but I don't really have any rigging items. I can't really use Shark Plug like that. No, we don't need that. Let me blow it up. I don't really care about coupon. Oh, I think a mystery gift. Oh, but there's also a there's option. Uh, I probably should have found the secret room before committing to mystery gift, but we're gonna do this instead. Secret? Okay, I did find it at least. Uh, I'm just gonna commit. Sausage, hey, that's perfect. No way I get a magic mushroom though. Oh! That's sick. Look at my range now. I can actually shoot, or I guess uh, punch. That was two all stats up in a single room, dude. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This character's sick. I love this. Shoutouts to the uh, Epiphany devs for hitting me up and letting me uh, showcase the character off for you guys as well. You guys should definitely play Epiphany. Oh, okay. My damage is so much better. That all stats up put me over the edge. I'm one-shotting flies with my constant barrage. I'm basically two-shotting everything else, plus Athame, plus I got rocks to throw. Where did my Sulfur go? I don't even remember. Oh, I left it in the shop. That's right. Plus I have Brimstone. I wonder if Giga Brimstone is a thing with this character. I do want to get another 15 cents, I just don't think it's possible. Uh, maybe? Oh, nice. I thought, cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's possible because I'd really like to get that there's options. I just don't see it happening for me. I do have keys available. There's one. I, I, I mean, I... Okay, wow. Hello. Ah, super secret. Ah, black sex. Not what I was expecting. Unidentified, I gulped the lazy worm. Maybe relax gives me more pennies. No, ah, nah, I just, I don't see it happening. Okay, I mean, uh, I'm still kind of coping. I'm not gonna lie, boys. Yeah, that's not happening. Bye. I'm gonna remember to use sulfur here and I'm even gonna hard commit and do killer instinct. Maybe this is a little bit too crazy, but I'm gonna try it. Oh, that's crazy damage. What the, can you open doors like this? No, you can't. Now we learn. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Looks like it has some pushback too, so you can strategically use it, the slam, to push away spikes like that. Keep that in mind. Check the sacrifice room, they just have a high chance of having hearts in here. Thanks for uh, giving me a bad example game, I appreciate that. That, I mean, if you want me to dodge that, I'd have to be a literal Toho player with 20 years of experience. That's not happening, sorry. I like to think, uh, while you can use the on-command Immortal Rage, whenever you want. I think the best way to play as this character is honestly just trucking around rocks and just fisting people. Hey, yo, uh, I'm blind, so I'm not gonna get all these. And I think you should use Killer Instinct Immortal Rage on command as rather a last resort because it literally makes you immortal. But you lose all of your levels and a bit of HP, right? And it puts you in a little bit of a hairy situation. So I, I, I think it's more like a last resort type beat. Uh, my rocks are huge when I chuck them, by the way. Boom, I'm blind, he farts. I wonder if I get conjoined if I do a triple swing. I mean, I probably do, right? Like, look at this. I already have four levels on my uh, slaughter bar and I'm, I'm shooting tears so fast. There's no way you just give this up because you want to look cool, right? I, I will say the sprite works insane. Hey, Sausage gave me a planetarium. Thanks, Sausage. It's blind. Oh! Okay, so you can definitely chuck rocks. The fist does inherent tear effects. What is that? That's cool. Oh my god, my slam does an earthquake now. I love this. Secret room. Nice. 
wooden chest, a uh, magician. I kind of want to do this. I want to see how magician works. I'm curious. Maybe it makes it so your rocks that you throw are homing. It's the only way I could see this working. Uh, that's definitely not homing. Is this homing? If I chuck it? It is! That's cool! I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. You guys are so cool. Fifth level of Slaughter Bar gotten. Had a nine tails achieved. I'll take a two heart deal if I know it's good. That's a one heart deal, I'm not taking it. And we'll go. Arcadium, nothing. I kind of want to go for a blood bag here. Ah, eh, sure. I'll just get rid of all my red hearts, but that's it. Nothing more. Hey, hey! Always gamble. In here, we got a telekinesis. Uh, I'm kind of curious as to see what this does, but I don't think it would do anything special, right? Shoutouts to Sulfur giving me Brimstone. Haven't said much about that. Here. Is Giga Brim a thing? It is a thing. It's very much a thing. Holy moly. What if I chuck? Okay, the chuck doesn't really make it that different, but the Giga Brim is definitely real. Again, this is early Brimstone synergy, so this is not representative of what you guys will receive when the mod eventually does come out. <laughs> it's like slapping sound effects on that dingle. Ooh, memory card, hello. Maybe the secret shop has something juicy for us. We'll take a uh, speed up for no reason because I'm at max speed. What are you doing, bozo? Oh my. You guys remember Ricardo from Adventure Town? Oh my god! That one penny is in the stairway. If I can get this without going upstairs, I'm a god at hitboxes. Oh, that was so close. All right, let me go down for the uh, restock. Not for 15 cents. Is that that's just another one? What the heck? <laughs> I definitely like the quality. Of what is going on? I definitely like the quality of life change, where basically uh, you can't really lose that many slaughter bar charges in a room with no enemies. You can see it's just going down really slowly. That rotten baby was maybe conjoined, but whatever. Uh, there's a cursed skull. I'm gonna try it again. Oh my! I did it. Yes. That was satisfying. Let's fight real quick. I kind of want to use uh, Mortal Rage one last time just because. I might do it at the very end. We have a boss rush available. Let's go down. And we get Pop, Bone Spurs, 16 Long Legs, Fruity Club. I'm going to take Pop because maybe it has synergies. I don't know. But it's the only item that could potentially have synergies here. Does not look like it. It does look like it. It does have synergies. That's crazy. So my rocks just go out and kind of burst open and just hang around. Can I knock them around? That's so cool. <laughs> get over there. Oh, you know what I should be doing? Let me use Sulfur real quick. Oh! I found the God Synergy, actually. No way, the Synergy's crazy. And I have Giga Brim. No, dude, this is too overpowered. <laughs> I am officially him in this situation. For frame of reference, me killing things gets me to the fifth tier, and even waiting for the bosses to die, as you can see right there, even puts me at the fourth tier. So it's really hard to keep up fifth tier of uh, slaughter bar levels. That's just not going to happen. I'll take the strength card with me because why not? That was one of the most satisfying boss rushes I've had in so long. Let's go kill Hushed as well. <laughs> I know I got hit there, but I was really entranced with the sound effect. Listen. To I don't know why, but that sound effect of me just punching things is just satisfying to me. I have a sacrifice rune, but I'm kind of down to just keep going with the doubles. Nice luck up. I, uh, I'll use the sacrifice rune if I can't get a devil rune. I have a 70% chance, it's pretty high. But if I don't land it, then I'll, I'll do it. Uh, who knows what that is? Watch me pick up a death certificate right now. I'll scream. Ready? 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 Ah, oh, I mean, that's pretty good, don't get me wrong. Walking up. Goodbye, daddy long legs. I'll use, use sulfur as well. Perfect. The Sulfur is crazy with the Brimstone synergy. We did get it. I'm blind again, but I'm gonna just... I don't, I don't care. Oh, that's cool. Whoa, what does this do? I don't know. Can I control it? I can. That's exactly what it does. Okay, that makes sense. All right, let's go. Yeah, we're low HP, but you can't tell me that wasn't worth it. This is sick. All right, here we go. Slam it. Throw a rock. Throw another one. Dodge the eyes. Go ham. We did get deal at Satanic Bible. Dude, these items are crazy. I almost want to take it for health, to be honest with you. But there's no way I'm giving up that Brimstone Synergy. I haven't used it that much, and the reason why is I'm saving it for Hush. That Synergy breaks the game. Treasure Room. Uh, Evil Eye sounds like it would be sick. And Conjoint, maybe? Okay, it definitely works, and it's so powerful that it lags my game. And that evil eye, that evil eye also does the exact same thing I do. Uh, yeah, that's 
Wow, okay. What just- I- oh my god, that's disgusting. I have bodies on my head! Dice bag. Yeah, we'll take it. I'll reroll my entire build if I get the chance on the uh, dark room. Final shop. Triple A battery. Nah. We got a Pertho though. That's cool. Uh, let me use strength on the hush fight, then come back for the Pertho. Alright, here we go. I am so scared to seeing what's gonna happen here. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 that's exactly what I thought was gonna happen. It's gonna be so stupidly laggy. Okay. Okay, alright, let's just, I don't know, I'm just gonna go up to him and hope that he dies instantly. Wow, that's damage! It's literally a wave of pop and brimstone heading in that direction. I've never seen such a cool synergy. I'm just chucking eyeballs in his face. I'm probably gonna crash here. Look how fast his health bar is going down! And he's done for. Alright, well, you know what? Uh, pretty good synergy. He's a cool character. Let's go back for the Perthro. Essence of Samson. Who knows what that does? I don't. I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys. I'm not gonna look it up. Obviously, I mean, the character isn't even out for you guys, huh? So. Now, is it smart to Giga Brim with this build? Probably not. I will crash. Uh, but I'm, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> oh! That's useless. Uh, but thanks. Should I Perthro? Sure. Ah, I got greedy. Can't use Brimstone here, because otherwise I won't be able to overcharge. Not like we need it. <laughs> I'm gonna chuck a couple rocks out and just spawn a bunch of tears on the screen. And he'll just die naturally from those causes. No, Delirium. You keep showing up at the wrong time. Well, it's not like we have a lot of uh, chances to make this work. Should I D100 for fun? I'm probably gonna die. But like, there's a D100 right here. Ah, uh, come on. I've got to learn what the character does, right? Whatever. Oh, the C-section! And Incubus. What, what what is going on? It sounds like I'm doing C section, but it don't it don't look like it. This is definitely an upgrade, by the way. We'll take the tiny planet. What? I didn't do that. I swear to God, I didn't do that. What just happened? Uh, arguably better. Unironically, arguably better. We basically uh, punch in random directions at all times. Plus C section. Plus I put a uh, tiny planet up just because I thought it would be funny. Uh, Abel, maybe we can get a conjoined going. Also, we have Incubus, which is just cool. Oh, I do have Mars. That's what happened. Look. Okay, that's what- exactly. I get it. Got two hearts. I mean, we'll be okay. Well, not if we go in the wrong direction. We should be okay. Just keep our range. I gotta remember, I technically have uh, range now, just because I have C-sections. They can home in. That Immortal Rage will save me, if need be. Or I could just find a soul heart and find the boss. Cool. Okay, let's do it. Let's just see. Double brim it. Oh! oh my god, that's the coolest brimstone I've ever seen. I got delirium. Let's, uh, whatever, let's do it. Watch this be delirium right away. Oh, we got a small rock. Cool. Our speed is gonna suffer, whatever. It's Satan, actually. That is, this is nuts. That's nuts to look at. That's actually crazy. I, I physically turn into brimstone. Like, I can't see. <laughs> that, that brimstone, that huge brimstone's crazy. I am now mother. So what I might have to do is do a clutch play with the on command killer instinct if I get to 1 HP. Oh well we're about to find out, here we go. I might have to clutch it out here. Or I might die, I don't know. I mean, it, uh, apologies for not being able to dodge effectively when I'm just brimstone incarnate. Uh, effectively use Mars to dodge? Okay, well, here we go. I think I'm gonna die. Yeah, okay, so now we're in immortal rage state. I gotta deal damage, otherwise I won't live. Well, I think I'm gonna deal damage, to be fair. Oh boy. I don't know if I'm living this one. No! Oh, we got another Immortal Rage. Wait, we're good. Hold on. We're good! No, I, I uh... I'm dead for real. Okay, well that was fun. <laughs> I don't even know what happened to me. Let's go! That was so cool, GG!